Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, <laughs> Cindy did a mess up. Uh, this week for my creative year is passion. And uh, the question is, what are you passionate about? Well, if you guys have already watched last week's video, that was supposed to be airing this Friday, but I messed up. So you know what? I'm still going to give you a video for this Friday. Um, and I sat here, you know, I was thinking about um, what I had talked about before, about my passion and, and you know, um, art and helping others and, and that kind of stuff. And then I was sitting here working on um, catching up in my book, my journal. And I thought, you know, this is another one of my passions. Um, as you guys know, I made this cover. It's a custom keeper from Shannon, uh, Shannon Green. And if you want to check her out, look under Etsy for Buy Shannon Green. And I just, I absolutely love these. These are the vinyl covers. Um, this is a custom keeper for a composition notebook. I actually cut it down. I altered it on my, you know, a little bit on my own because I didn't want three composition notebooks in here. I just thought that was too much. And I use this for my private journal, so I'm in it every day, pretty much every day. And I just wanted it to fit one composition notebook. So that's what I did. I did cut it down a little bit. Um, but it, again, this is just a regular composition notebook. Here's the pages. Um, what I did do with them is I go through, I normally glue two pages together just because it gives me a little bit thicker surface to work on. Once I glue them together, I'll do that at night during a you know a TV show. I'll sit and just glue them together and then flatten them out, make sure that you know they're glued together well. And then I'll just take a bucket of washi tape and I'll just start washi taping the edges. Um, I just do that because it looks good. I like the looks of it with the colors, the different colors on the edges. So that's why I do that. And then what we, what I do is I do a little bit of everything in here. Everything from journaling to memory keeping to receipt keeping to, um, this is my old handicap tag from New York. I kept that in here. I put stickers in. Um, I put in cards that friends have sent to me. Um, just it just depends sometimes I'll sit here and do a little bit of art in it uh, but then again this is one of my passions this is I hmm, must be I didn't use that huh it's not cash um, I just I enjoy the memory keeping process of this I enjoy the um, looking back on them and <laughs> so I found these stickers are so cool and just you know enjoy it I enjoy the memory keeping of it um, this was some tomatoes that my husband had bought for us and there he actually bought two plants and I just put stuff in here um, we were at dinner the other night at the house and he says oh do you want this sticker he pulled it off the bottle sure why not this guy came off a piece of junk mail um, I have no idea where I got that that's a place called Cakes by the Sea. Wherever I go, I normally pick up, this is a stamp that a friend of mine, Peg Robinson, carved and sent to me. Um, this is a purse I bought. This is just a little note from my hub that says, you know, hey, I'm in the shed when I got up in the morning. Um, I just, everything, there's a little bit of everything in here. So I was actually sitting here, a bunch of writing. Um, I was sitting here playing with this and I'm like, you know what, this is one of my passions also. So. Let me get, um, oops, hold on. Let me get my stickers. I'll be right back. All right, so I got, this is a box um, of little stickers. Now, I get a lot of these from um, those little um, companies, Chinese companies that um, sell them for like a buck or whatever. And it's just all different kinds of stickers. And um, I just, that one's actually kind of cool. I, you know, I use these a lot in my journals. And is there any specific reason? No, not really. I just, you know, I like to decorate it. I like to play around. I just, I have fun with it. I like that one and that one. So I'll just grab in here and see what I can find. You know, I'll grab a handful and say, oh, what do I feel like putting on today? And as you can see, this is how I put them out. I just decide, oh, that one looks cute. Let's put that one out today. Um... But again, these are just little stickers um, that I use, and I use these quite often. 
So actually that's really cool. All right. So again, that's what I'll do with these little stickers. Now, right now I am just, uh, these two pages, I'm working on just memories. Okay. Uh, this, <laughs> I found this bag of salted caramel, um, chocolate covered pretzels. They are really good. I think I found them at Ollie's, but they are really, really good. So I have those here. Um, this actually came off my calendar uh, when I got back home. Uh, this came off my calendar. It's a daily calendar, and it says work hard, be kind. Work hard, be kind, and be happy. And I just thought, you know, I really like that. So what I'm going to do with you today is I'm just going to finish working on these pages and... Um, just show you what I do in my journal. I know a lot of people talk about, oh, I can't journal. I don't do it every day. And, you know, um, to me, this is my place where I can record my memories. I can record my life. I can um, let my emotions out. I can just do whatever I feel like I want to in these pages. Nobody normally gets to see these except for me. Um, this is a burger fry menu. Um, I actually met another artist, Carol Minton, the other day at burger fry. And um, I'm actually going to put this in here. Now, this is the menu. I'm not going to leave it as a menu just because I don't feel like it. So what I'm going to do, I've got this piece of tissue paper here that another dear friend sent to me, Vicki Brown. And I'm just going to cover this with this tissue paper. All right, and I'm just gonna do it with glue, just plain old glue. This is from Big Lots. I think this was from a while ago, and I need to get it used up because if not, it's not gonna be any good. So I'm just gonna glue this paper on here. And I only did the top part because that's where I'm gonna start it. And we'll just go like this. And I'm gluing this instead of the paper because this glue is kind of hard. It's not a real um, easy glue to apply. Um, I think it's starting to dry out, so that's why I want to use it up. And I know if I do it on the tissue paper, it's going to tear the tissue paper. All right, so I just glued this on here. Just cut that off. I'll use that for something else. Okay. And then I still have the bend here. Now what I'm gonna do, what I plan to do, is I want to decide where I want this on my page. That might end up going somewhere else. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm just gonna glue it. And I want it bent like that. I don't want it straight. So I'm just going to glue this on here. This is Burger Fi, which is where it was. I don't know if you guys have the chain anywhere in your area, but um, I really like their burgers. Um, see, it's upside down. I don't care. Um, I really like their burgers, and I like, uh, they have what they call a cry fry, which is a few onion rings and some french fries, and they're really good. Now, the other thing I do in my journal is, this is um, actually an old camera case from years ago. Uh, this is an LG pocket printer. What I'm going to do is turn it on. It should be all charged. And I'm going to go to my phone, and... I can pull up this app. Where is it? Right here. And it's called Pocket Photo, right? And then what I can do is I can pick a photo from off my camera roll, which I want this one right here. So I'm going to pick this photo off my camera roll. Okay, and I'm going to send it to the printer. It's going to have me look at it, make sure it's what I want. And this is the gal that I met, Miss Carol. And I'm going to print my photo. 
It's transmitting the image to the printer. And it takes a couple minutes for this to print out, so I'm just going to sit it here so that it can print. It says the transaction's been completed and it's going to print. So I'll set that aside. I don't know as I want this on here now. Hmm, why not? Yeah, let's just cut it down a little bit more. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's starting to print. Take some more off the top. A little bit off each side. And yeah, I'll sit here and sometimes I'll throw on a Netflix or sometimes I'll just put on some music and sit here and chat with my hubby or, um, and we'll just, you know, I'll work in my journal. And I have <laughs> shelves of these things um, done, completed, and it was so funny, years ago, a few years ago, my hubs was, um, sit, we were sitting on the couch, and I had one on the coffee table that I had just finished, and he says, what is that? I said, that's my personal journal. He says, do you mind if I look? I said, no, not at all. Check it out. All right, so here's my picture. It's a little bit yellow, and I think it's yellow because this paper is old, and that's why I'm trying to use it up, and if you buy the ones that have stickers on them, you can just take off this backing, maybe. Sorry, my computer's pinging. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, now i got to find my pokey tool. I hear you guys tell me, Cindy, look for your pokey tool. Yeah, I know it's over there somewhere. I really can get this. All right, find my pokey tool. Pokey tool, pokey tool. Where is my pokey tool? Let's use an exacto that'll work. Watch, I'll cut my finger off. Don't do that. There must be a huge accident up the street because there's been well, that's the fourth ambulance. Um there's been four ambulances and fire trucks and I wonder if this is a piece of the paper that does not have the sticker. Because I've had some that don't have the sticker on them. You know what? This just might be one because all I'm doing is pulling the backing off. Alright, yeah, this one doesn't have a sticker. So, normally, <laughs> normally I have them with the stickers on them, but this one doesn't. So, I am just going to grab my tape again if I can find it. My camera bag was on it. I'm just going to throw a couple pieces of tape on here. So one of my stickers. i got to shut that off so I don't run it down. Because, I, like I said, I use it quite a bit. I don't know. This might have this. It looks like it's the sticker back. But for some reason, I can't get just the sticker back off it. So I'm just going to tape it in here. But yeah, when, um, when you're doing your journals, you know, I know some people, well, I can't write in them every day or, you know, I don't, I don't want people, you know, reading my thoughts every day. And you don't have to do just thoughts. You can do memory keeping. You can doodle. You can just do whatever you want. Let me see if there's any other pictures I want to put in here. Mm, you know what? Yeah, I want to put this one in there. That's a picture of me and my hubs. And I'll turn this back on. And I'll just send it to the printer. Uh, it tells me it doesn't see it. I'll wait a second until it's fully on, which it is. Send it to the printer. <sighs> there we go. Gonna let it load and I'm gonna print that photo. And again, like I said, these are gonna come out a little bit yellow just because I'm trying to use up this old paper. All right, so now I also have my other little stickers here. That one's cute. I don't think I'm gonna use it today though. Love this little kitty cat. Yeah. My fingers aren't working real well today. 
It's been hurting a lot the last couple days. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's up. I think it's fibro, but that's all right. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to put my little kitty cat here just because he looks cool. All right, I got a couple other things here I want to put in. Um, love this little birdie, but I don't like all that white around him. So I'm just going to cut away some of the white. I think the white takes away from the birdie. Yeah, so I'll, you know, I'll sit here and I'll just play around with these pages until they get however I like them. And again, you know, it's just, it's not about um, the outcome per se, it's about the process. And it's about just taking a little bit of time for yourself and just enjoying what you're doing. Doo -doo. Yeah, for some reason, like I said, my fingers aren't working the greatest today. So it's a little bit harder to get these off. This little birdie right here. All right, so here's a couple other things. This, um, actually, let me get my picture first. See if there's any more before I shut that off. Um, yeah, there's one more I want. This one here. It's my friend Carla making a cup for me. I'll print that photo. All right, now see? See how we're a little bit yellowed? But again, that's because of the age of the paper. That's not normally how they come out. So I'm going to put that in here. Just because I can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it over here. I need to figure out, though, I'm pretty sure this is sticker paper. It is. See, it is sticker paper. Yep, yep, yep. That's all right. That one won't go anywhere. All right, that's a salted caramel, but that's okay. Now, normally I don't worry about this, but because it's got sticker on it, I'm just going to cut my hubby's head off there. No worries. All right. Um, this, this is actually a business card from um, an Etsy shop called Catitude Cosmetics, okay? Um, last time I was down at Carla's, her and I got discussing, um, we were watching different Etsy, uh, we're looking at different Etsy channels, and this was one of the ones that we um, talked about, and Carla actually ordered some of her cosmetics. And I just, I thought the uh, business card was really cool, so I asked Carla if I could have it. So it's, you know, it's a memory for me. Did I order? No, I actually ended up not ordering. But, um, you know, it's just something I can look back and say, oh, yeah, I remember when Carla and I did that. Uh, all right, so here's the picture with Carla. Just going to cut off. And again, like I said, these are yellow because I let this paper um, get old on me, and I should not have done that. I should learn to rotate my paper and not just use the newest box that comes in. All right, is this one going to come off? Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's shut off the camera. We'll shut off my little printer. Now, if you don't have one of those little printers, because they are, they are kind of expensive, and the paper is expensive as well, but if you don't have one of those little printers, that's no problem. Um, just take your photos and um you know what, i don't want to put that there I, want, I know what i want here i'm gonna put this right here because this came from another friend um let's put carla right let's put it right here i know what she's doing and then i'm also going to do a little bit of journaling around this now this um let me back up what i was saying about the paper if you don't have one of these little printers that's okay that's not a problem 
um, you can either send your photos to like a Walgreens or a drugstore somewhere, get them printed. You can go to Walmart, um, you know, take them on a USB drive, get them printed that way. Um, you can also just print them out on your copier and just do a black and white photo or if you have a color copy or a color photo. I did that in the past when I didn't have this little toy, so it's, it's very doable. Um, this is a card that I received in the mail from my dear friend Gina and she says I thought you might like to save this in your journal and she is very right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this card down um, and I'll show you what this is uh, that she's referring to all right so this card is going to go in my journal because it was handmade by Gina and you know I like to save that kind of stuff um, a lot of times I'll put stuff up on my wall, but this actually had a purpose of the journal, so that's why I want to put it in here. All right, this will still open, so that's cool. And I still have room here if, um, you know, I go out to dinner and find a business card or whatever. I can still put stuff in there. It, Like I said, it doesn't have to be finished. That's, that's not the idea of this journal. So she sent me this. It says Fearless. And she says, I thought you might like to save this to your journal. And what it is, is a few months ago, I was talking with Gina about my TENS unit. And the, if, if you know what that is, it's, a, it's an electrical stimulating unit that someone in chronic pain can put on their body. It's like a patch and it sends um, electrical jolts to you. Okay, no, it does not hurt. Um, but what it does is it kind of interrupts the pain signal going to the brain and it gives you a, a touch of relief. doesn't make everything go away, but it gives you a little bit of relief. Well, I was talking to her and she was actually walking on the treadmill at the time. And I said to her, I said, you know, I said, I'm wearing my TENS unit so much that it's making my sides sore because the TENS unit, it's a little box about that big and it has a clip on it and you clip it over your pants or your shorts or your leggings, whatever. Well, it's the plastic that keeps rubbing against my sides. So I was like, you know, I really wish I could either find a belt or figure out some other way to carry this unit that would be easier and not hurt. So she was asking me the size of it and I was telling her and she drew up this little sketch and actually let me go get the unit I want to show you this I'll be right back all right so here's the unit this is a tens unit okay and these are patches that you put on your body the the electrodes go to the unit you turn it on and it'll give you little zaps right so I was telling her, I said, man, I really wish I could put this in a pocket and put a belt around myself and not have this actually hooked to my body. Like four days later, in the mail comes this beautiful little pouch. Look at this. Okay. Gorgeous little pouch. It's got a belt loop on it. And guess what else? Here's the belt. So now all I have to do is I just have to put this pouch on my belt. All right. Um, she's got, um, she has it so it's movable. So I can put it anywhere I need to on my body, wherever it's the most comfortable. Because sometimes when you sit, you can't put it, it has to be out on the sides. When you're standing, it's easier to have it up front because sometimes you'll get it hooked on things as you're walking. Right? So she sent this belt and as I do bingo there we go I have a belt right so this little box fits in the belt in the in the um, pouch and it fits perfect I couldn't have asked for a better fit these normally are not in there but then you just take one of the electrodes and bring the electrodes out and there it is safe and secure right so this sweet 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 dear friend of mine sent me this and she says, I thought you'd like to have that in your journal. And she is so right. I'm going to take this off the belt again. I store it. When I store it, I just have it sitting like this on my dresser. And then when I need it, I just put it together and put it on. Um, so she sent me this. When we were sitting there talking about the belt and what I'd like to have, this is the note that she made of how to make the belt. So I absolutely want to put this in my journal. 
and I will put some notes on here as well. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of journaling also. So let me just put this down. She's so funny because she knows um, that I, I have this kind of stuff in my journal. And, you know, I don't look through my journals very often, uh, but, you know, the completed ones. But when I do, it's so neat to look back and see, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, that's right, you know. So just gonna glue it there or tape it there and there it is. Now I also want to, just because this flippy flops, I'm gonna take, I have this drawer full. <laughs> I think I'm obsessed with decorated, decorative clips, right? Let's see, um, let's use this elephant, why not? Elephants are fearless, right? And I am going to just take it and I'm going to clip it up on there. Oops. And there it is. Cool, huh? Come on, lay flat. And then this can go back over in my little... So yeah, um, as I go along, like I said, as I go on, I will add little pieces here and there to this. Um, I am going to add some journaling, maybe some doodling. It depends on the mood I'm in. Um, we'll put this little kitty cat. Oops. No, let's put the kitty cat up here. He's cute. And then we got this little potted plant. I don't think I'm going to use that one today. I'm going to put that one back in the box. And let's take, see, I don't like all this white. I realize it doesn't really matter because it's going on a white page, but it just looks too stickery for me. Does that make sense? Stickery? Stickery. And I hear my dryer calling me. I swear to God, I got a new um, set of washer and dryer when we moved here down to South Carolina. That thing sings more than any machine I've ever heard. Do 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 do. I'm like, really? <laughs> and the only way you can just shut it up is by powering it down. It just keeps right on going. There we go, sticker. Come to me, sticker. Alright, let's put this little guy right here. Just because. There goes another ambulance. Wow, that's not cool. Oh, this one's coming back this way. Oh, I hope those people are okay. Alright, so we've got myself and Carol. I've got my just doodads. So let me um, think about what I'm going to write on here get what I'm going to write it with, and I'll be right back. All right, so now, um, let's see what I'm going to do. I want to take some, I've just got a little bit of washi here, just to decorate it up a little bit. And I'm just going to take a piece and put it right here down this picture just you know I mean it's already um, glue or not glued on it's already taped on but just to make it hold a little bit more it doesn't matter if it's on there just hold it down a little bit more and again this will come up which is fine all right so I just wanted that little bit of washi and then, you know, um, I may come back to this page. I may decide to do some doodling on it. I know I am going to do a little bit of journaling on here. Um, just, you know, um, so that I don't forget. <laughs> Let me tell you, fibromyalgia is not fun when it comes to memory. Uh, you would think sometimes I don't have a brain up there, but uh, uh, it's just crazy. All right, this is something else I want to show you, but let me just real quick. Um, this is just my regular pen. I'm going to put the date on here, which was Friday, which was the 4th. So this was 5, 4 of 18. Carol and I. 
Um, and again, I don't have to put a whole lot of everything on here. Um, this is one, this is very true. And I'm just going to put so true. Okay, this is from my friend Gina. And I'm going to put on here my 10 unit belt. Love it. Okay. And this is what I'll do. Now, I may also decide to do something like, um, I don't know, grab one of my distress crayons and just kind of, you know, get some more color on here just because I don't like it being all white. So sometimes I'll do this. And just through here just to kind of take out that whiteness and maybe just switch it up a little bit. I'm just not a fan of having all the white edges and, you know, and I just make it my own. So, you know, I really hope um, this helps you guys get a good idea. If, you know, if you want a journal, it doesn't mean you have to sit down every day and say, oh, well, I went to the bank at 9 a.m. and then I went to the grocery store and I was there for two hours and then I went. You don't have to do that. That's not what journaling, you, that's not the only example of journaling. Um, and it's not something you have to do every single day. It's something I do when I either feel like it, get a chance to do it, or, you know, just... A lot of times, I'll be honest, I do it at night right before I go to bed because it helps me to get a lot of stuff out of my head. Um, so that's normally when I like to work in my journal. Um, I'm just doing it today during the day to show you and I needed to catch up a little bit. Now, so this page, like I said, I may come back and add more and do things and, you know, outline stuff and whatever. But there's something else I want to show you. And see, it gets thick. That's okay. I don't mind. This one's bent over. Um... Oh, I've even got uh, fabric ribbon on that one. But this is another thing I want to show you that I do is um, I have these. Everybody has coloring books, right? Well, if you haven't purged them, most everybody's got coloring books. These I bought the other day in AC Moore for a dollar a piece. And the reason I bought them is because I, I like coloring books. Um, I enjoy coloring these and then either copying them and sending them to friends colored or, um, you know, making, I don't know, backgrounds out of them or just using them in my art. So that's why I got these. This one's goddesses, and I just thought some of them were really cool. Some of them would be really neat to um, color, cut out, and put on a journal page. So anyways, uh, another thing I do with these, sometimes I'll use them in my journaling. And right here is one that I actually took out because I want to use it in my journaling. And what I'll do is I just tore this out of the book. Okay, it is double-sided. I just want to make sure my circle is right on both sides. And what I will do is just cut it out a little bit. I mean, I'm not being precise. I'm not being straight. I really don't care. It's in my personal journal. Throw that away. And then... Now, see, that's got to go a little bit more. Only reason is because I don't want it overhanging that much. So I need to get a little closer to the edge up here. So I'll get a little closer up here, which means I'll get closer all the way down here. And same here, I'll get closer. All right, now this, what I'll do is I'll just kind of bend it there just so I have a good idea where I'm going to stick it. And then what I will do is cut this off straight and just take some good old washi tape. We all have it, right? I'm just going to pick out a roll. And sometimes I'll do this when I'm prepping my book. Um, I'll go through and I'll put a bunch of these in. And it doesn't have to be a mandala. It can be anything you want it to be. It can be any of your coloring book pictures. It can be, um, I don't know, uh, some different scrapbook paper that you might want to color on or doodle on. It can be watercolor paper. Maybe you want to do an art piece on it. It can be anything. 
And what I'll do is I'll just stick it in here, just like that. Flip it up, make sure it goes. Cut my tape so the tape stays down. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, just throw a piece of tape on there. So this way, okay, if I'm sitting, let's say, you know, I'm going to start working on this again tomorrow night. If I'm sitting there watching a movie and I still want to do something in my journal, but I, maybe I don't want to sit and write because I have to kind of concentrate on that, I'll just sit and color. Sometimes I leave them just black and white. It really just depends on the mood I'm in. Um, it depends on what's going on, where I'm at when I'm journaling, you know, whether it's physically or mentally. Um, these are places of freedom. This, this journal is my complete freedom. So I just wanted to show you guys today what I actually did in this wonderful thing and how it gets so fat and chunky. And uh, I hope you guys can take something away from this, even if it's just like, oh, yeah, man, I never want to have a personal journal. Or if it's, huh, I always thought you just had to write in a journal. No, no, you don't. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.